Hello all and uh, welcome to uh, this month's edition of um, Brago's Tech Webinars. Uh, today we are joined by our great tech partner, Raffle AI, uh, Johan, Susan, and Rohit. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Raffle will give us an introduction of their product in a second, but uh, first of all, I want to thank you all the attendees and guests for joining us. Uh, we're so glad that you're interested in new tech. That's what it's all about, They're having the best tech around. Is always a uh, comfort for Ambrago when we do tech partnerships. So before we get into the introduction itself of the product, I just want to state that uh, obviously we will have a QA and a at the end. Uh, this recording, or this will be recorded as always, so you can get a, a look at, at YouTube uh, afterwards. And, and obviously we do the approximately 30 minutes, including Q&As in the end. So without much further ado, I'll uh, let Johan take it from here. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jasper. And hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Johan. I'm the VP of Sales here uh, at Raffle. Um, and I'm not going to talk too much about the product. I'm just going to say we're the best search engine in the search engine in the world. Uh, I'll let San explain a little bit about why in a minute. Uh, just to introduce the two uh, other people from Raffle here besides myself. I have uh, Susan, our CEO and co-founder. And then we also have Rohit, who is our partnerships manager. I'll also jump in towards the end and just to give a little bit more of an update uh, after the presentation, uh, a little bit about, you know, if you want to talk to us about Raffle itself, about partnership uh, or whatever else it might be, uh, your customers, your clients. Um, we'll catch up on that towards the end. But for now, I'll pass the word to uh, Susan, who'll take it from here. Hello, hi, I am Susan. I'm the CEO of Raffle. Uh, and also one of the co-founders. So I will uh, take you through um, some of the essence of Raffle and also the technical part, of course, uh, but also the value for, for the customers in the end and some customer references. So that is what we're going to talk about the next, or I'm going to talk about the next 20 minutes. So if you have any questions, there'll be room for that uh, afterwards. So, so please uh, write them down and, and then we will make sure to, um, to answer them afterwards. So Raffle is a next generation enterprise search, meaning that everything we do is based on AI and machine learning, deep learning as well. Um, so um, we will go through what the difference is uh, from the existing search functions to what Raffle actually do uh, today. So this uh, all started with uh, frustration and uh, I could see very clearly in 2017 when I started researching on this that I was not the only one having this frustrating of not <laughs> frustration of not being able to find anything uh, when I went to websites at um, you know at, um, at big suppliers or uh, if I just wanted to find something for for internal purposes as well um, um, my emails, my documents and everything. So this developed into a product and uh, the research uh, that we found out there was also that um, we, we know that about 20% of our working time goes with actually finding information. And we know that most customers can't find the information on our websites either. So why is it that you know, there isn't a search function that works like Google does in the consumer world, why can't we um, have that working also in the corporate world? And there was, uh, there was some um, particular reasons for that, actually, when I met up with uh, Ole Winter in 2018, who's a professor at KU and DTU and one of the leading uh, professors in uh, artificial intelligence in the world. Uh, we found out that this was actually a perfect timing to do something about this uh, for the corporate world. So we wanted to uh, solve uh, the, the search, the broken search in, in the corporate world. And we think we have done that. So with Raffle, we have based it on one engine. It's a zero shot engine. I'll get back to what zero shot means but it has uh, endless use cases. So what we are going to focus on today is of course, Raffle site search, which is, which is the search that can be incorporated in an Umbrago uh, solution uh, so that your customers can actually get a search function that works really, really well from day one uh, 
when implementing uh, big websites uh, with your clients. So we also do have um, a workplace search for uh, the customer service. So when they then have, you know, you, they often have live chats or something like that on the website, then it goes through to customer service. And in this customer, on, on, on these, uh, in these customer service uh, ticket systems, you can also have raffle implemented that will come up with answers to that. And then we have the workplace search, as I mentioned before, uh, which is basically finding your information and uh, all your knowledge across these different systems on your workplace, um, which uh, makes it very, very easy to find information. So where did we, where, where did we start? So we wanted to, we wanted to make a product that was very, very easy to implement. I'm from the commercial side. So I wanted to, I, I, I saw it from a customer point of view, uh, whereas Ola, of course, is from the technical uh, side. So he saw it more from what is actually possible uh, in the AI world. So we wanted to make a plugin uh, solution that had excellent performance. Uh, and, and that is where we are today. So how do we make a plugin? What is actually required to make a plugin? So we wanted to go live within hours, not months or years. We wanted to integrate with all the existing software that are available, of course, today and also uh, existing websites. We wanted to have a self-improving technology so that our customers wouldn't you know, have to bother about it. Uh, as they do today with traditional search, they have to, to do a lot of manual work and tweaking and, and you do as well, I know, for your customers. So, so we wanted a technology that could self-improve, just be a plug-in, uh, work out of the box. So, and it should also build to scale with business. Then that means it, it had to also understand all the languages in the world. Um, so the, the task was pretty big, but we actually managed to do that. So getting to zero shot, uh, which is required to make a solution that is a plugin that just works out of the box on any data uh, that is out there. Um, we had to go up against the traditional search and see what were they actually doing today. So traditional search are like a dictionary, I like to say. So a dictionary is basically words and synonyms, if you're lucky, um, uh, but not spelling mistakes. Spelling mistakes are really, really difficult to handle when it comes to traditional search. Uh, you can, of course, teach it some spe spelling mistakes, but it is quite difficult for it to understand. On the other hand, traditional search is very good with large data sets. So we wanted to, we want also to make a search that besides from being really good at understanding what you're actually saying, so reading the whole book, so to speak, like, um, like a human being, we also wanted it to be very, um, uh, very good on very large scale data. So, so this, is, uh, this was actually the task from the beginning. So instead of with traditional search, and now we just took Elasticsearch as, um, um, as, as, as an example, it could as well be Solar or whatever search system is out there that is built on Elastic and Solar, which is basically all of traditional searches today. Um, what you write is basically what you find. So if you write a word, that is what you will find and it will go and it will find those words and it will, it will count the words. And then where, wherever that word is you know, represented um, the most times, it will actually rank that higher. And that doesn't really give you the, uh, what you want. So what we wanted is to, what you mean is what you find. So you can basically write a sentence if you've read a book as a human being and you say, and I, I asked you, when is the passage in that book where this boy gets off the train and goes home, go home to his mother and he falls, you know, somewhere. And, and it doesn't have to include any of those words, but basically Raffle can find it from the intent and the context of what you're writing because it read the whole book like a human being. So we not only find the right document or the right URL, we also fi find the right passage in, on, uh, in the actual URL or in the document that is, um, for example, if they have PDF documents on the website or uh, if they have other uh, documents, they, they can even have videos where we take down the metadata. Uh, they can have, um, yeah, whatever data they would have uh, on a website, uh, we can find it uh, in that sense. So, so Raffle ingest all. 
So the zero shot, this is a, this is a very good, we, we do benchmark all the time towards all the, the existing um, um, uh, search functions out there. So when you, if you speak to, when you speak to us, we would be able to tell you what is the benchmark against the search function that we are up against, so to speak. Um, and here it shows very clearly that when you have traditional search, and Algolia is also based on traditional, so Elastic, of course, Solar, whatever, um, then Covio even, um, then, then they have sort of a hard cap at some point, but they also start at a lower point. So if we see it in another sort of perspective, you can see Raffle Zero Short, short starts at 82%. That means eight out of 10 questions are answered correctly in top three. So we have traditional search. They have 15 to 30, uh, 32%, which, is, which means that only one to three out of uh, 10 questions are actually answered correctly in top five. Um, so, and, and then Ravel gets better without you even having to touch it. So depending on the difficulties of, of uh, the task, it, it will be again, you know, around the 80 to 96% that Ravel is actually answering correct, which is amazing and impressive. Uh, above 80%, you say you have this Google wow effect. So people actually or, or perceive that as being the right answer almost every time. So, uh, so that is what Raffle can do out of the box, just like that. So you just implement it. It takes about half an hour for it to train on the immediate data, and then it's up and running. So getting also to the excellent performance, like on big data, uh, requires some other models. I won't go into details about this. But, uh, but that's also a problem uh, solved um, uh, today. So what is the value of Raffle? Why is it so important to have a great search function? The basic things or the basic scenario is that if you don't have a great uh, search function on your website, basically all the data is, is a dead website, isn't it? You can't find what you're actually looking for. You have to make a very, very clear structure, uh, especially if you have a lot of data on the website and that structure will eventually get broken as well. So it, it is very, very hard to guide people through structure. And um, so we need a search function that can actually do that. And we can also prove that it actually works really, really well with our clients. So if we uh, take some of the client statements here, again, I won't go into too much detail. You will have this presentation afterwards, so you can, you can read it for yourself. But every one of them have different scenarios, of course. There are different things that you want to obtain by having a website. Either you want you know, fewer customer calling, uh, your customer service because there, there are lots of, you know, of the same questions um, going to customer service and there's no need for them to actually call them. So that's already, you know, minimizing the frustration of the customers, but also minimizing the costs in, in, in customer service. But it can also just be about branding. You want the best solution. You want to, you want to be professional uh, towards your customers. You want to maybe reduce, uh, reduce um, um, uh, churn on your website, or you know, um, you, you want to, uh, you want to uh, do so. It's it's easier for people to find stuff or, and convert and 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 actually make transactions. So there can be lots of different reasons uh, for for customers to do this, uh, or wanting um, a, a service like this. So. The numbers are impressive. So if you want to increase self-service, uh, for example, on your website, which is very, very high, very high demand right now uh, on the website, uh, they say that 86% uh, of all consumers demand that they can actually find things themselves on the website today. Uh, and that is very much, that is very, that's, that's a lot more than it was just four years ago. Maybe COVID-19 had something to do with that. It's more than double more, but it can also just be a trend in society that we actually want to self-service and we want to do it at four o'clock at night if we want to. It doesn't, it doesn't have to depend on when you're actually, when your opening hours are there and we don't want to be in a queue on the phone all the time. So you can reduce calls, emails, live chats and so forth, but you can also 
closer to professional and focus on customer needs. And we can actually prevent 91% of all the questions coming through um, to, to actually get answers on, on, on the website. And from that, about 34% in average would have a reduction uh, of actual uh, calls and emails and chats going into uh, customer service. So there's a lot of savings uh, just from having a really, really uh, great uh, search function besides actually looking professional um, and, and, um, and having a, a much bigger conversion rate. So if we go in and look at some of the customer cases, so we have just, uh, we've taken in two um, different uh, perspectives of raffle here so that you can see what it's all about. So this first one is basically a video showing a benchmark. Um, this one was actually is actually a Covio search, uh, which is on uh, the website of Smart. Smart is a very big uh, corporate in the US uh, doing security systems for the insurance business and banking. Um, and uh, and we, we wanted to make a benchmark. So saying, okay, if we put raffle on top of your data, which you can actually also get, uh, you can get it from us on your customer data. Uh, we can make these benchmark analysis very, very quickly on your customer data. So we did it on Smart, and this is what uh, came out. So what we do is um, we take a scrape of, uh, of the website because it's public data, so it's easy. Um, and, uh, and then we see, okay, what would Raffle answer? And what would Smarsh answer? So now we are in the Smarsh uh, section. Uh, so we've got a regulatory uh, letter and then we have put Raffle on top of it. Oh, sorry, oops. That was not the intention. Uh, I have to just you up here so that I can get the right button down here. Sorry. Uh, we got a regulatory uh, letter and then we put um, raffle on top and you can actually see that raffle will come up with the right answer immediately. Smart again, how do we protect the organization? It comes up with blocks and stuff like that. And over here, we actually answer protecting your organization leads to this and this. Again, we'll send you this presentation so that you can see support also just single words. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, big sentences or anything like that. Again, it comes up with where you actually want to call support and not some blogs about support or what are, you know, the products on, on support. So it actually it, it draws out the intent and the context of the actual search, and then it delivers the right answers from what you actually intend um, with the question. So, as I also mentioned in the beginning, Ravel has several use cases. So this one is, of course, for site search, which is our primary focus when we're speaking uh, with you, of course. But it can also be that some of your clients actually think, okay, it could also be great to have something in customer service because that's sort of the other end of the side, right? If we can reduce the amount of calls going through to customer service, they might also want a tool where they can actually see the answers in customer service. So just for the sake of it, uh, we also show you an email or a, a, sorry, um, a video here of how our raffle interactive raffle for customer service would uh, would be so when you write a live chat on the website it goes through to a ticket system that's not our business so this is not ours so this is the ticket business but you can see raffle goes in from the right here and uh, then you can start you know typing in your answer to the customer and you can copy down you know all the stuff you want to copy down from from your uh, from these answers coming up from raffle and then you can just send it off to the client and raffle can also be shown in different um, areas of the screen so it doesn't have to come in from the right it can also come in from the left so this is for the internal purpose so this was more just to show you how raffle can actually be connected in different ways for different purposes it might also be that you actually wanted to um, you actually wanted to, um, to implement raffle after login with your clients. 
So many of your clients probably have a website, but they also have a platform or portal for their customers. And that's basically also a website. It's just a website that is specialized to, to, to give something to the existing customers. So that is exactly the same solution for us. It's still a search function and you put it on your website for that portal that is just after login. So, uh, so it has many purposes to, to, to have a search function like this. So, oops. So if we're going into the competitor landscape, just so you have an overview of who we see out there, we see some customer service focus, which is not really relevant in this, but Covio is one of them. And Covio is also someone who also delivers to website uh, suppliers um, and also on top, of course, of, of uh, Umbrago. Uh, there's also Forthold and Zenigma. Uh, uh, then we have some established giants that you know of. Google does have a problem, especially in Europe, um, uh, because of GDPR and stuff like that. So there are many that uh, that that want to to go for the uh, with the safe solution, so to speak, on Microsoft Azure or something like that. But they don't deliver to to website in the same uh, same sense as we do, and it's it's not plugins. And that's also another thing. You have to tweak it. You have to do stuff. Ours just works out of the box, and that's very important uh, for you to know that you can basically just implement it, um, and then you can um, you can use your time instead to actually um, to form the website and do uh, all the things that you are uh, specialized in. And then we have enterprise search like product search. Uh, product search is not really our um, our uh, business uh, because it's it's. It's much more like what size do you want or what color and stuff like that. Um, and then we have these cross system searches as well, which is more or less for, uh, for workplace search. But there, there are lots of providers out there, but for all of these providers, even on, on this shield, except from uh, Google, of course, um, they are based on what we call traditional search. So traditional search is tech and keyword based. So you would have to do uh, quite a lot of tweaking. And, and I guess you already know um, how it works uh, when you have to set up search function or your customers have to set up search function that it is quite time consuming and the output is not where you wanna be. Uh, so here you can actually uh, double or triple the output uh, and it's just a plugin. So you don't even have to, to spend any time doing it. So these are some of our clients. Um, it's just some of them, uh, but I will leave uh, the word to Johan who will explain a little bit about um, what we do for, for them and also how you can get in contact with us to get further information. Perfect, thanks Suzanne. Uh, we'll also cover some, uh, some, uh, some, a few more questions afterwards here that I think Jesper will, uh, will direct uh, in case there is any. Um, bottom line, we have a different, few different ways of working. Uh, of course, you can work with us direct uh, as, as our clients, uh, but ideally in this particular case, it would be relevant for, for your clients as well. Uh, we're more than happy to set up some of these benchmarks, for example, for yourselves or your clients in, 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 the, in the event that it's interesting for you guys. So just reach out to us afterwards. Um, I'm not sure, Jesper, if, the, if our contact information will be shared somewhere. Uh, otherwise, I can just write uh, our emails uh, in the chat here. Um, we'll hit our partnerships manager will also be more than happy to take the conversation regarding uh, the various partnership opportunities that we have. Um, and in regards to our reach, you know, it's everything from Europe, uh, Nordic, Ben looks back, uh, UKI, as well as US or, or, or even APAC. We have no geographical boundaries. Uh, also, the technology itself, I think Susan covered as well, works in over 99, 99 languages. We don't really take language into account. Doesn't really matter for us, to be honest. Um, it works anyway. So um, that's a little bit about that. Um, I'll write um, Wojtz and I uh, email addresses uh, in the chat for you guys to pick up on. Otherwise, I'm sure Jesper will, will be happy to share it or, or post them elsewhere. We are also on the, uh, yeah, we're also on the, um, the Umbaco marketplace. Uh, finally got live there uh, yesterday, I believe. Um, so you can also go there in, in there and, and check it out. But Jesper, I'll, I'll leave the word to you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Susan for a really thorough, impressive uh, presentation. Thank you very much. It, it looks like a really, really, really cool pro 
product. So let's have some questions. Uh, please put them in the Q and uh, the Q and A in the chat box. Uh, I'll start off. So could you say something, any of you, about what is a typical customer profile for 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 Raffle? Uh, I guess that's that falls to me. Uh, typically, we see the best use cases are in content heavy sites. Uh, or high traffic sites, typically with a lot of requests or a lot of content, but it can also be in in a help center for a SaaS company, for example, where they get a ton of requests going into CS, for example, or how do I add this source or how do I delete this, or I can't find this, or this doesn't work. So it can go into, for example, help centers. We can also do it company wide on sites. So we also have cases with 20,000 sites, uh, for example, or, and 29 countries and in or 29 languages and so on and so on and so on so it's a very very wide span that we can actually cover um but main the best icp use cases are typically heavy content or high traffic with a high uh, amount of also requests going in uh, for information or support thank you and and you you kind of kind of mentioned it a bit but could you tell us more about your market approach so you have an office in, in, in Denmark, <clears throat> Copenhagen right now, but what can we expect from you guys in the next couple of years? Where will you be represented? So that's uh, that's always a million dollar question. I believe, again, we are a Danish company. We're, we're founded in Denmark and based our headquarters in Denmark. Um, but again, we have a global reach uh, and we have no geographical boundaries as many others do reverse with certain legislation or content or language that can be covered by the technology. It all works. Uh, of course, the, the easy approach is to first solidify uh, in EMEA and then move to the US. I think that's that's uh, most people's uh, dreams as well. Um, but in reality, open for everything. I think core right now, or has been core, especially in our outbound uh, activities right now, is close to home, which is Nordic, Benelux, and the UKI. Because it's kind of, it's near, it's close, it's, it's easy. Okay. Cool. So uh, let me just uh, turn the attention to the attendees or guests. Uh, any questions? No, doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, no. Okay. That's me well, writing uh, uh, the contact. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us, the Team uh, Raffle. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure someone will reach out for you for more information and the free offer of a benchmark analysis. I must say that is really impressive. So thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us today. Hope to see you again in a month. And don't forget, we are recording, so you can find this uh, a great webinar on YouTube within a short time. Thank you all. Bye.